You see this pen? We're all like this pen. Because when you open it, <laughs> when you open it, red comes out. Same with us. All right, stupid analogies and cringy props like that are no way to hook an audience. I'm personally not a fan of props at all, but especially when motivational speakers will have props and volunteers doing some elaborate stunt or whatever to draw a weak metaphor about life. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just don't connect with that. But getting your audience's attention is extremely important. You have to captivate your listeners in 10 seconds or it's a snooze fest. Now, we already eliminated props. Second, don't. Rhetorical questions. Have you ever experienced fear of public speaking? Yeah, so not the move. In fact, I would avoid rhetorical questions altogether. This video is technically about openers, but we cleared the air on a couple things already. Props and rhetorical questions, eh. But to the main point, that whole drawing a connection or an analogy, it's a good way to get into your topic. So personal stories, anecdotes, recent events and current affairs, which are lighthearted, all work really well. I would not recommend a straight up punchline style joke, those can be awkward. And I would not recommend a Tumblr-esque quote, just ugh. And sometimes you're talking about something serious or intellectually demanding. You don't wanna just start off, artificial intelligence coming right at them. You wanna give something that the audience can relate to so they feel your content matters. For example, in a speech about quantum computing, I opened with something about Avengers and Ant-Man's quantum tech. In a speech about political moderation, I talked about a then recent fight on the Texas House floor. In different situations, but relatively light, entertaining stuff until I introduced the topic. And that's when you get into the information and the rhetoric and all that jazz. 